let's have a little run through of things that we saw yesterday. We started at Front Street, on the market, just shy of £200,000. To make it the living space that I wanted, really, I was going to have to knock down one of the walls. Uh -huh. And it would be a shame, because it's a great house with character. And then we went on to um, St Oswald's Road, on the market at 315000 And loved all the possibilities that it offered, mm. but of course the running costs, whether it's council tax, that kind of mm. thing, so that's a big factor to consider. However, it is at the top end of the budget, even with the fact that, you know, rental income might help. So, Oswald Road, too costly. Loft living at Woodsmill Quay had different drawbacks. I'd like somewhere with a bit more space, so at least my friends come around. There's somewhere for you to at least talk to them, you know. But on our ultra-modern property, knocked her for six. I loved the house, and that was probably quite obvious from, from looking around. I could really imagine myself living there. Yes, it was breathtaking, but expensive. Our mission now? To bring her down to earth. Our final property is nearer the city centre again. In fact, we're taking Jackie back to her roots. I used to go to school literally just around the corner, so I know the area really well. Yeah. Because I was quite happy, I was quite fond of the place here, really. Oh, okay. And it's close to town, so it's a good spot Very as well. Very close to town, yeah. yeah. It's a pretty impressive house, and it it's is. on the market at £235,000. Nice. So within budget... Let's go in this way. A huge £100,000 less than Downey House, Scott Street looks a better investment. With three bedrooms and all the character Jackie wants, many rooms have been stylishly renovated. However, there is still some work to be done in the attic and basement. Now, perhaps the only downside of this house is that there isn't a huge amount of outside space. This is where the car goes and it's your only mm -hmm. patio stroke garden. So, this is one of three basement rooms. Do you have any gym, gym equipment? I do. I'm afraid it gathers dust because I've got nowhere to put it in my house. Huh? Problem con solved. Proper concrete floor in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Come and have a look through. Big tune box over there. Crank the music up. <laughs> You're all right. Right, onwards. This is the range, which is amazing. It's fabulous, yeah. It dates from the mid-19th century. It's got real character, yeah. hasn't it? I love it. I mm -hmm. mean, you could probably have it restored. Yeah. Whether mm -hmm. you could ever use mm -hmm. it or would want to use it is a different matter. Yeah, sure. But look at the opportunities here. Once finished, these rooms could be rented out as a separate flat. And up out of the basement, into the dining room. Well-proportioned room. It's a corridor room, yeah. but I think they work quite well as dining rooms. Yeah, it's a nice room. Yeah. We're doing well. And it's straight into this, which is... Uh -huh. Well, you tell us what it is. This is fabulous. Isn't this is fantastic? great. I love it. It's a wonderful room. Now, I'm glad you said it's a wonderful room, because mm -hmm. that is what it is. It is a room. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Nothing. kitchen is not fitted. It's all for sale, right, but okay. it's not included in the sale price of the house. Right. Mm -hmm. And you have to really watch it with kitchens like this because mm -hmm. you can walk in and you go, wow. Mm -hmm. And then you walk in on the day you complete and it's like, oh, where's my kitchen <laughs> gone? Completely gone, yeah. <laughs> Look at this banister. It has been completely restored from here right to the top of the house. It's lovely. And it's been beautifully done. Um, now, on our left, the master bedroom. This is <laughs> well, pretty spectacular, really. I guess I didn't expect this at all. It's a staggering room, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very dramatic. I got quite a shock when I walked in the room, really. So, it seems to be going well. The bathroom's not bad, either. Goodness. I know. This is fantastic. Fabulous. It's really fabulous. So luxurious and decadent, I could really imagine myself enjoying this bathroom. Oh, yes. In fact, I want to stay here. Do you want to leave me to it while I light some <laughs> candles? <laughs> okay, no, it's all yours. <laughs> well, another possibility. Out of the five we've seen, do any merit a second visit? One of them that I guess it was quite obvious that I was quite keen on was the Downey House in Hughes Green. Yeah. Mm. So I was just seduced by the lifestyle. And the other property that I think has great potential was the period property in Scott Street. But I thought that had real investment potential and I could see myself making some money on that over the longer mm. term. I'm still in a bit of a, a dilemma really about them both. They, they're both, they offer such different things and mm. I've got to really start trying to clarify what I really want now. We're back at Downey House for a second viewing. And Jackie's gone to get her mum for a bit of moral support. Jackie's been bowled over, even though this property's at least £35,000 over her top budget. Will mum be the voice of reason? 
quite stunning. Mm -hmm. Very bright, very light, very nice, very modern. Well, yeah, yeah, almost quite different to what I'd normally pick, isn't it? Really, but there's just the exact about opposite. It. Can you see what I see in it? Yes, I can. Yeah, right, it's yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. Yes. Oh, like mother, like daughter. She I loves love it too. Thing. Very bright now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, isn't it, it is nice? nice. She has a great view out of the garden, you know, it's, and there's something just really tranquil about it. It is very restful. Even though it does seem expensive for a two-bedroomed house, a property is only worth what a buyer's willing to pay. If Jackie is going to throw caution to the wind, she's really got to look beneath that seductive veneer. And one thing that stands out in this house is its lack of furniture. Well? It did occur to me that what we've got here is a classic house seller's trick to try and put the dining table up against the wall, make the room look bigger. Yeah. It's useful to try to visualise how your own furniture will fit in a so, new room. Okay. If you take measurements along, you can mark out dimensions on the floor. This will give you a clear idea of whether you'll have enough space. It's something I hadn't thought of initially. You just get this false impression when you're walking through here that there's loads of room, but clearly when, when you start to put in your own piece of furniture, that might not be the case. So I think you'd have to move this tree. You would. Very brave, Kirsty. Oh! oh. <laughs> Never nice. invite Kirsty into your home. <laughs> Remember, open plan living can have its drawbacks. Jackie wants the perfect party pad, but what about the morning after? It is a fantastically light room, this, but I do think that you would need blackout blinds. Because otherwise, mm -hmm. on a Sunday, you'd really be kept awake by the light. Yeah. The other thing which concerns me that might keep you awake is downstairs noise. It's very open plan, this. If you had someone to stay and they came in the morning to make themselves a cup of tea in the kitchen, I think you'd find the noise came right up the stairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Despite these faults, which there are a few that I've seen on the second visit, but um, I still love it. The major problem is still the price. Well, no need to make a decision yet. Let's go and see Scott Street first. At £235,000, Scott Street is perhaps the more practical option. It's a great size, isn't it? Yes. I just love the proportions of it, really, and the high ceilings. It's nice with the two windows, plenty of light. Yeah, light. yeah it does make a difference, really, yeah, it doesn't it? does make it? a difference, yeah. What do you think? Spectacular. Mm. Mum likes this one too, so we're no nearer a decision. But this house also has limitations. The small paved garden would have to double up as a parking space, so there's room for the car and not much else. I've got to have peace of mind about the car overnight. Yeah. Um, the minute I bring that in, there's just no room to sit in the garden. Mm. And it still is a drawback, it's just whether I can live with that or not. Yeah. There could also be a substantial amount of time and money spent in doing up those rooms, but Jackie could turn this to her advantage. Starting to purchase a house when it's at this stage, undecorated, can be an excellent opportunity. You need to speak to the estate agent about what degree it's going to be finished. Once you've established that, you could be involved in the choices and make your own mark. On a second viewing, don't be too shy to have a good nose about. You might make some useful discoveries. I found something here that could add value to the house. I've been doing a bit of research. Oh. First of all, two of these houses have sold recently. Right. 180,000 uh -huh. and 185,000. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Big houses, uh -huh. but I think their um, natural value has been mm -hmm. affected by the guest houses that are next door. Sure. Mm -hmm. But what I really wanted to show you, mm -hmm. remember that bit on the landing that we thought was pretty unusable space between the two top bedrooms? Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder what you could do if you put one of those on the side. That's a new mansard that's been put yeah. on quite recently. Uh -huh. Now that says to me that the precedent's been set. Mm -hmm. The planning authority would find it very difficult to turn down your application mm -hmm. if you wanted to put one of those on the side of your house. Sure. Mm -hmm. I thought then you could put a bathroom up the top there. Mm -hmm. It would cost not very much. Okay. You, I mean, you'd have change out of two grand. Right. And I think it would mm -hmm. add more than it would cost to the yeah. value of your mm -hmm. house. Yeah. Time to choose. Option one, Downey House, chic living. But at 335,000, it pulls on the purse strings. Or will she go for Scott Street? It needs a bit of work, but is within budget at 235,000 pounds. This house is wonderful. It's just fantastic. It's got so much potential. And the only negative point I can find with this house, really, is the courtyard. Yeah. Um, 
not the courtyard itself, I hasten to add, but actually the fact that when I have the car in the courtyard, so that it's all completely secure and I can sleep easy, I can't enjoy the courtyard. And that's yeah. the only problem I've got with this house. Unfortunately, that problem was just too big to overcome at Scott Street, leaving just one contender. I would like you to try going in with an offer at the Downey House to see whether they will laugh and wave us away. I thought I should go with 280 and see whether they'll seriously consider it. Would this be your best and final offer on that It house, would be, then? really. I yeah. wouldn't so be it's a one-shot one. Though. It's a one-shot, and if not, I will never go around thinking, what if? Yeah. I'll just simply walk away and think it was not to be. <laughs> Buying is often a battle between the practical and the emotional. You have to decide what's most important to you. In Jackie's case, her heart won over her head. I did put an offer in, which unfortunately was rejected. So I'm still getting over it, really. I'm still quite upset about that. You know, it was just a real loss. However, since then, a recent development is that on the off chance, I spoke to a, a local agent, and they had a property that really caught my eye. And I viewed it today, and it's absolutely fabulous. It's great. Jackie put in an offer of £225,000, which has been accepted. 